Hunter Biden has called an impeachment probe into his father shameless as he refused to testify at a private hearing with Republican lawmakers. The president's son was subpoenaed to appear for closed door testimony, but Wednesday morning, he reiterated that he would only answer to Republicans at a public hearing. It came as the Republican-controlled House prepared to vote on formalizing the impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden later on Wednesday. House Republicans allege that the president knew of and benefited from improper business dealings on the part of his son. Hunter Biden was initially asked to testify on Wednesday morning, but after giving brief remarks near the Capitol, he got into his car and drove away. He took aim at House Republicans for what he called an absurd investigation into his father, which he said was based on distortions, manipulated evidence, and lies. In the depths of my addiction, I was extremely irresponsible with my finances. But to suggest that his grounds for an impeachment inquiry is beyond absurd, it's shameless. He said, there is no evidence to support the allegations that my father was financially involved in my business because it did not happen, he added. Republicans have led a months long investigation into the president that has yet to uncover any concrete evidence of misconduct. The inquiry has centered in part around Hunter Biden, who also faces federal tax and gun charges. He has pleaded not guilty. The impeachment probe has focused on his work for companies overseas, including in Ukraine and China. House Republicans have also alleged that the U.S. Justice Department impeded, delayed, and obstructed an ongoing multi-year criminal probe into the president's son. Since launching the inquiry, the three Republican committees leading the investigation have spoken with several Justice Department and Internal Revenue Service officials and have obtained thousands of pages of documents. Speaking outside on a grass patch, with the Capitol Dome clearly visible over his shoulder, Hunter Biden claimed as Republicans had lied, invaded his privacy, and attacked his wife, children, and friends. They have taken the light of my dad's love for me and presented it as darkness. They have no shame, he told reporters. He also claimed Republicans did not want an open process where their baseless inquiry would be revealed to the American public. After his speech, House Republicans accused Hunter Biden of running away in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter. Hardline conservative rep Jim Jordan said lawmakers would begin looking at holding Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress and he defended the Republicans' desire for a private hearing, insisting it was part of normal procedure. All we want is the facts, Mr. Jordan told reporters. They should have been here today. House lawmakers are expected to vote on formalizing the impeachment inquiry into President Biden. On Wednesday evening, Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson confirmed the impeachment vote would occur in a post on X. The facts don't lie he wrote in the post. It's time to get the American people answers. House Republican leaders have expressed confidence that they have the votes necessary to formalize the impeachment inquiry, despite an extremely narrow majority in the chamber, in which they can only afford to lose three votes. Democrats and even some Republicans have criticized the impeachment investigation which the White House has called a political stunt designed to hurt the president's re-election. Biden. Republicans have held one hearing related to the inquiry, during which an expert witness called by Republicans said there was not yet enough evidence to impeach M.R. Biden. The Oversight Committee claims the Biden family and its business associates received more than $24 million, 19 million pounds from foreign sources in China. Kazakhstan, Romania, Russia, and Ukraine between 2014 and 2019, voting to formalize an inquiry, places Republicans in the strongest legal standing to pursue needed information and enforce subpoenas, Rules Committee Chairman Tom Cole said on Tuesday.